Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to a speed build. This is actually like a mini speed build because, well, I didn't do a whole house. It's sort of a tiny house and my friend Michaela, shout out to Michaela from the Facebook group, The Sims Rebels, my favorite group of Simmers in the world. And shout out to Victoria from The Sims Rebels as well, who also requested to see this from me. Love you guys. Um, <laughs> she asked me to recreate this from a photo, so at the very end of the video I'm actually going to do a screenshot of the photo that I saw and then um, a screenshot of, of this build that I'm doing right now that you're watching. So there, there's, it's technically the size of a whole house. I left a couple of rooms empty um, on the bottom floor all the way to the right. There's a nice large room that you could split up into a kitchen and... Hmm, I guess a kitchen. I don't know what else you need. I created one bedroom, the living room, and uh, a dining room <laughs> and a little half bath. And then on the second story, which is a loft, you can see it's basically a loft bedroom. There is an additional room all the way to the right that's empty that you can easily create a full bathroom or you can even do like a second bedroom and put another full bathroom or a full bathroom on the first story. Um, but yeah, there's there's lots you could do with it, but I was trying to copy the picture exactly, and I try not to use store content in my builds unless they're just a aesthetic for, for aesthetic purposes, um, or just small decor here and there, nothing really that's gonna affect the structure or the build. Um, so there is a few items I will point out as, as store content when we get to them, but other than that, everything else is just regular base game or, um, expansion packs or or things like that. I never use custom content. Well, I don't want to say never because <laughs> I have been used, known to use it before for tiny little projects. It's usually hair for create a sim, but yeah, I, I never used um, custom content for my builds that I upload for you guys. And so right now I'm Actually, I jump back and forth a lot between all of the rooms, but this one I'm making a dining room. In the photo she sent me, you actually couldn't really tell what this room was. I was originally going to make it a bathroom, but there's not a, a proper door. It's more of an archway, so I thought that'd be a great little dining room because it's so small. <laughs> and oh gosh, auto roof. Had to trim that off. I hate auto roof so much. Um, although, oh my gosh, although I do end up using it at the very end just because, I, I don't know, it's a pretty simple... It's a pretty box shaped home, so I figured auto roof would be fine in this situation, but I hate it when it automatically goes when you uh, when you make a build because then it gets instantly dark inside and then you have to do the windows and the lighting right away, which I usually kind of do at the end. I do things backwards. I usually do like the inside out. I try to do the outside in for the sake of, of speed builds and things like that, but yeah, this one I literally built it around the picture, so around the bedroom and the living room. Uh, but I will, I will add windows and doors at the end, <laughs> or I guess now <laughs> there goes a nice big window. Um, I think, yeah, this drapery, drapery, is that right? Drapes, the curtains, the curtains I use are store content. I couldn't find anything else that looked exactly like these. So yeah, I mean, you can, you can leave no curtains or just use a different type of curtain, of course, but those fit the window perfectly. And they were pretty much exactly like the one in the photo, which you'll see at the end when I do a side by side. And the outside of the home, I honestly did not spend any time at all. I mean, I might move the mailbox and the trash can towards the end. But yeah, if you download this, you're, you can definitely build onto it, add onto it, and do the landscaping yourself. Um, but this is pretty much, like I said, just a request from Michaela. And right now, just putting the final touches on the dining room. And behind the stairs here, I'm going to end up putting a little half bath. And I wish I could have fit a shower. I probably could have configured something in there, but I figured that was sufficient. Because like I said, there's the two to three other empty rooms that you could build a, a proper full bathroom in if you would like. And... Um, those are the lights, those big square lights are from By Debug. They're great for lighting up a build while you're, while you're building. Uh, the only thing, well, they, they disappear in live mode. So once you're in live mode, you don't see the square shape, but you do see the light, which is great. Um, but I've had games glitch because of that. Well, not glitch, but you know, when you have auto lights and things like that, it's hard to control. So I do make sure to put actual lighting at least one fixture in each room so you can easily turn the lights on and off. And those two little poofs are store content and the little drink tray on top, drink tray on, 
am I saying that right? Drink tray on top of the coffee table is also store content. I don't think there's much else though besides um, the shelf over the stairs, which you'll see a little bit later, a little bit later in a few seconds. This video is almost over. I told you guys it was short and sweet. And then I thought I was done with the build and then realized I forgot a couple little things like this little lamp and side table that I'm putting here. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Did I forget anything else? Oh yeah, another little picture here in the hallway. Got to get all those little final touches in here. <laughs> but anyways, guys, here is the side by side. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my version, which is like as much of a copy as I could possibly do in The Sims. And if you like my videos, please, please, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel grow and it keeps me motivated to keep making videos for you. And you can find all of my social media contact info in the description below if you want to just pop by and say hi. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And Michaela, I hope you enjoy this. Bye. Bye.